Okay, it's recording. <laughs> singing songs about our favorite rays. You know what those rays are? The x-rays. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So we're gonna tell you a story today. Once upon a time... But this story really is real. There lived a man. He abbreviated his name. Well, maybe he didn't, but other people abbreviated him as W.C. Röntgen, mm. who's a German scientist, and one day he discovered... The x-ray! <laughs> Woo! So... As you know, he's a scientist, so he's working in his little science -y lab thing. Yes, yes he is. And he was working on some sort of a tube. And the tube that he was working with consisted of a glass bulb with positive and negative electrodes inside of it. Mm. The air in the tube was evacuated, and when a high voltage was applied, the tube produced a fluorescent glow. Rontgen shielded the tube with heavy black paper, and he discovered a green-colored fluorescent light generated by a material located a few feet away from the tube. He then found out that this tube emitted a new sort of ray that could penetrate through paper and <laughs> what else? Other substances <laughs> such as human Other tissue. Solid objects and and human tissue. But not but bones not bones or metal. Or metal. So this is how he sort of accidentally discovered X rays. Oh, hey Megan, how does this device work? Well, electromagnetic magnetic radiation penetrates the body and while bones are dense and absorb the rays well soft tissues do not because the rays pass through different body parts differently an x-ray image such as this one da, 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 is produced <laughs> hmm well how can the device be manipulated or adjusted by changing the applied voltage or controlling the current flow and exposure time of course oh, of course so, Maya, how do wave concepts apply to x-rays? Well, x-radiation is a kind of wave that is made up of x-rays. The frequencies of x-rays range from 30 petahertz to 30 exahertz. And what's a petahertz? I don't know. The wavelength of x-rays range from 10 to 0.01 nanometers, and the speed of x-rays is that of the speed of light. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hmm, well, that's some fascinating stuff there. Hey, where can I buy one of these nifty little devices? Well, the most common place to buy x-rays seems to be online, for they are not very common in the convenience stores that one is used to buying heavy-duty devices in. Hmm, well then how do... how convenient can those stores really be if they don't have x-rays for sale? It's true. It's very true. But if you're really that interested, some brands that you may want to look under are Heeman, Philips, GE, and Toshiba. Toshiba. Along with others. <laughs> However, it also depends on what kind of x-ray you want. There are x-rays for dentistry, airport security, doctor's offices, veterinary clinics, thank you for those visual aids. And then, of course, there are my magical x-ray goggles. Oh, really? Hmm. <gasps> Looky here. I seem to have found a key. Is this the key in your heart? No, those are my car keys. 